Weather coverage you can count on with Ashley Carter and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Looking absolutely gorgeous out there, but it is feeling hot like a typical summer Father's Day out there. We're in the upper 80s in most of North Alabama as we take a look from our Way 31 Sky Camera Network. 88 degrees here in the Rocket City, 91 in Muscle Shoals. You're a warm spot, 87 in Decatur and 86 in Gunnersville. So if you're outside, you're definitely going to want to grab that sunscreen because it's a lot sunnier than we earlier in earlier anticipated. So here's this latest track of a tropical, what is now tropical depression, Claudette. But as it continues to inch further towards the northeast, we are expecting by tomorrow afternoon, by the time it reaches the Carolinas, for it to amp back up into a tropical storm. So if you have family and friends out there, definitely going to want to continue to monitor this. Right now, though, here in North Alabama, we're tracking no rain at all. It's a clean sweep from our Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar network. You can remember just how busy this was 24 hours ago. And now look, we are dry everywhere in the sky and temperatures are going to continue to drop as we go in through the out the night, but not by much. Just look at where we are tonight, still in the upper 70s and even overnight we're in the mid 70s. So we are preparing for another hot and muggy night and it's also going to be hot and muggy as we wake up for the first day of summer. So it's going to be dry out there when we wake up, some cloud coverage, but then once we get into your Monday by the early afternoon, that's when we're tracking this next rainmaker. Now let's track it here on future radar. So around lunchtime, we'll start to see some showers move in, but it's really going to be in the later part of the afternoon that's going to be the biggest concern. And that's because that's when that heavier rain is going to enter into North Alabama. And any rain we see across our eastern counties, that's going to be a problem because remember Marshall and DeKalb County had all that flooding. We don't need any more rain in those counties, but it does look like the bulk of the rain is going to be west of I-65 by the late Monday evening, and we are going to start to see that rain move out. And then by Monday night, we could have a few showers, but for the most part, we are going to remain dry. So the biggest risk with this rain is going to be that heavy rain again, especially for those eastern counties, Marshall and DeKalb, we just don't need any more rain to cause any more problems. Thunderstorms are also going to be a possibility, especially in the later part of the afternoon. And then we have flooding at a low risk because it looks like the bulk of that rain is going to be west of I-65, but flooding will definitely be a higher risk if we get some more rain in the east part. And then look what happens when we get into your Tuesday. So remember I said we're waking up in the 70s on your Monday. Look what we're waking up to on your Tuesday in the 60s. And it just doesn't quite warm up to what we're usually feeling during the summertime here in June. 74 degrees by 10 o'clock. And by the time we get to the later part of the afternoon, look at that. We're in the upper 70s in some areas and then the 80s in others. So we are tracking a cold front that is coming on your Tuesday morning. We'll see a little bit of showers on your Tuesday morning as well. But by the afternoon, we're dry, no clouds, and in the 80s. We'll remain in the 80s with plenty of sunshine there on your Wednesday and then we'll jump back up to the upper 80s on your Thursday before our next rainmaker moves through just in time to end out the work week and go to the weekend. Megan.